A huge problem I see with streamers audio is that their audience simply can't hear them, especially if they're playing a game that has a lot of loud sound in it, whether it's gunshots or music, or maybe they're streaming music from like some kind of DAW that they're producing. But the big problem is that the audience can't hear what you're saying when you're talking because the other audio is masking your voice. So I'm going to show you in OBS how to set up a really simple solution to that that's going to automatically mix your sound for you and do it in a way that you can control. But you're not going to have to be hands-on. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is set your microphone preamp gain. If you have a USB microphone, uh, you'll want to turn the knob on that microphone up. If you have an interface like I do connected to my Shure SM7B, just bring the input gain on that preamp channel up to where your audio is peaking between minus 30 and minus 20. And I'll show you why I start lower and then boost it with filters. But that's a nice safe range where if you get loud, it's not going to go over. And uh, you know, if you if you get quieter, it's not going to be lost in the mud. But make sure you're close to the mic and you're talking at your normal volume. You might be a low talker, and so you're going to have to boost the gain more. If you're really loud, then you're going to want to have the gain you know, lower than somebody who speaks quieter. So just make sure you talk, set the level. So that step's done. We're going to go on to filters for our microphone. If you're in a noisy room, you have 800 fans in your PC and you've got the air conditioner blowing and you have the smoke alarm chirping in the background, you're going to want some noise suppression. My room is very quiet, so I don't need it, but I'm going to show you how to add it anyways. So just add the noise suppression filter. You're going to want to keep these filters in this order so that the gain staging is good. The, I've listened to both of these methods, uh, speaks and RN noise, and the RN noise seems to be more uh, like transparent, higher quality. It does use more CPU. So flip between those. Make sure you're listening to your voice to, so you can hear what it does. I'm going to turn that off because I don't need it. So next thing, even though on here, on the uh, the meters, you know, my peaks are between minus 30 and minus 20. That's not going to be loud enough. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a compressor. This is going to do a couple things. One, it's going to boost the level, but two, it's going to keep the dynamics of my voice in a much smaller box than if I just went with a raw mic feed. So important settings. First, first, you need to adjust the threshold, not the ratio. So because we've set the peaks between minus 30 and minus 20, just park that threshold right in between, minus 25, 26, somewhere around there. Now we're going to bring the ratio down to about 3 to start with. This is how much it's going to reduce the volume of your voice. Attack and release, those settings are going to be fine for this. But output gain, I'm actually going to bring it up so that you can hear it get louder. My peaks are now between minus 20 and minus 10. So they're about... 10 to 12 dB louder than just the raw audio source. And this compressor is going to keep the dynamics pretty constrained. But what it's not going to do is if I yell really loud, it's still not going to keep me from going over zero or clipping. So we're going to add a limiter after the compressor. So the, this, the order is noise suppression, compressor, then limiter. A minus 6 dB for the threshold is fine. It's going to keep any really loud stuff I do, like yelling or sneezing or coughing directly into the mic from going over zero and exploding somebody's ears, but also just clipping and sounding distorted. So I'll test it now. You might want to take the headphones off or back away. Yo! You can see it didn't peak over minus 6, so we're totally safe there. So I'm doing all this while I monitor my voice because I want to hear what each thing is doing because the audience is going to hear it. You can also uh, do a recording and listen back to it if you prefer that. But for now, microphone is set up. It's nice and fat, full. Levels are good. It's safe. Everything on my voice is going to sound great. The problem is going to come when I start to play a game. Like, let's say I'm playing Hell Let Loose. Stuff's blowing up, Crocs chat's kicking off. You're gonna kind of struggle to hear it, especially if it's But even if I was like, chaos is great. How do you fix that? 
easiest way without having to manually mix your stream or pay somebody to mix it for you or whatever or worse yet having the game on game volume so low that you can't hear it the easiest way to set this up is on your desktop audio or whatever source you're using for the game or music audio click the gear go to filters and we're going to add a, another compressor it's a different kind of compressor you could actually name this something different if you want but just for the sake of it being easy we'll leave it on compressor and we're going to set a side chain and ducking source on this to be microphone you are going to want to listen to what this is doing so let me make this to where you can see the uh, meters here and i'm gonna I, th I think i'll do the settings first so threshold similar to the mic compressor this is really important this is going to tell the compressor when this microphone input reaches over a certain level i want you to duck the game audio so you're going to want to set this to the lowest you'll talk let's try setting it like around minus 35 so i'm going to test what if I'm whispering? I'm doing asthma videos. So even whispering, it's above minus 35. That's a very safe level for this ducker to kick in. So I'm gonna set that to minus 35. The ratio, how far do I want this to duck under my voice? If it's a loud game, it's gonna have to duck pretty far for people to hear it. The release though, I'm gonna turn this all the way up to one second, 1000 milliseconds, because I don't want it to duck and then pop right back up. I want it to duck and then kind of smoothly come back up to full volume. Output gain, not touching that. I want it to stay at zero. Attack, I could maybe make this a little bit slower. The attack is how quick the compressor ducks the audio. But what I'm gonna do now I have to listen to what it's doing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play the the game audio that I'm using, and now I'm gonna talk. And you can see it ducks it down to where you can hear clearly every word I'm saying, even with like <laughs> sounds like a bottle rockets. Even with the background sound really loud, you can still hear what I'm saying. But you know, if I'm not a streamer who talks through the whole game, you know, let the game audio play so people can hear it, it comes back up to full volume. Let's hear without this again. I'm going to turn this sidechain compressor or ducker back off. And I'm talking. You can't even hear me. So I need to turn this back on. And now you can hear me. So change the ratio. If you really want it ducked like way down, you can bring that up. Uh, the other thing you might do is bring the threshold actually down so that the sidechain ducker actually kicks in a little bit sooner. You know, maybe it doesn't wait for your voice to get to full volume. So this is great. You know, I can hear, even through the monitor, I can hear that it's really kicking down. Just AB one more time. No ducker at all can't hear what I'm saying, the super chats and stuff, and sidechain compressor back on, you can hear what I'm saying, I don't have to yell over the game, and when I stop talking, it comes back up to full volume, so you will have to tweak the settings based on your voice and the game, I'd say fire up the game, get your mic set up, you know, uh, do a recording so you can hear what the end result is like before you go live But these settings should really help you clean up your game stream audio and just keep it to where people can hear every word that you're saying The nice thing about this sidechain compressor or ducker. It doesn't matter what I play through it It's gonna do the same thing. So let me bring up the filters again resize this so you guys can see Okay, so I've got my mic and I'm gonna play a sick beat this compressor is not on this ducker is not on so you're gonna hear I'm gonna start to talk and you'll hear maybe something but you probably won't hear too much playing the beat talking talking about the beat 
the end begins here. Okay, and now I'm going to talk about the beat and how it's got 808s. It's got an annoying sample. Maybe you can hear me, maybe not. But when I engage a sidechain compressor, wow, super duct. Too much. Duct too much. So I'm going to adjust the ratio back down about 10, threshold about minus 36. And this is why it's important to tweak the settings based on the content because like this beat has a ton of bass it doesn't have the gunshots and stuff that fill up the mid-range so i can tweak the settings based on what i'm doing and that's why i can't just give you say oh these settings try this it's going to work every time no you're going to have to tweak it but hopefully you understand how they work how they interact with each other uh, how to set up the the sidechain compressor and then obviously having a nice clean signal at your mic is super important so thank you guys for checking this out hopefully that helped i'll catch you next time